So what's happening here today and last night is the zoo itself is flooded further down on the island. Most of the zoo personnel were all at that end coping with the damages down there. When they came back to do their inspections they found that the whole bank here had slipped down into the river and actually created an eddy where the water was swirling and pulling at the bank. So yesterday evening we got an emergency call that they needed help down here at the zoo to stabilize these banks so our forces came out along with the actually a bunch of trucks from Edmonton which was amazing they turned up about midnight last night as well all hauling rock in here for every load of rock that we've managed to dump and have stay there we've probably lost four loads down the river so it's just a constant add add as you can see with the water swirling there it just wants to eat the way out of that bank and when we were here at one o'clock in the morning um, over where the fence is down you can see an area there we were up closer to this end but we heard a huge crack and about five big trees went back down to the river in a big stand of just a wash and we're just going to continue to fill and put the material in to uh, stop the bank from eroding and going back into the buildings and I think we've caught it in time and the zoo has done a lot and SEMA and the emergency officials coordinating this have really put in a huge effort to make this happen. We're a member of a 41 Brigade Territorial Battle Group that was set up to assist in the response. We were stood up Friday morning and uh, at that time we we're given as a, we're a combat engineer unit, so we have engineering assets, we have heavy equipment operators, we have uh, technical experts in that respect. So we were asked two main sites was uh, NMAX substation in South Calgary. That substation uh, powers a good quarter of Calgary and it was being eroded similar to the situation here we're at the zoo, which obviously bluegrass is supplying the material for. Uh, so at this site we were asked around 7 o'clock last night to come out and check it out to assess the situation. We had several contractors here working and they need someone coordinated so we just provided support and our technical expertise in that respect. Similar to what we were doing in the south. We worked till about uh, 2 in the morning last night here until the situation was stabilized and then we took home. We got a call this morning from the zoo operator who was looking for some information and an assessment so we were dispatched again. And at this time, it looks like we're going to be ceasing all operations as of uh, 1800 tonight. So we're assisting the federal, the provincial government and the municipal governments, and we're just here in a secondary role to help them out wherever we could. And that's about it. By the looks of it, we're about probably halfway done, and that's been within, say, 24 hours, right? So I imagine the rest of today and tonight we'll keep working our way through this and it should be taken care of. So another 24 hours and this one will be fixed and it'll be on to the next mission.